Hello everyone, my name is Python GB, welcome back to another episode of my Sky Factory Let's Play. As you can see, I've been working a little bit on the island, I've expanded it outwards slightly, you know, I've got more of these little border things going along, so on the map it looks a lot more nicer, so you know, I've got the borders finally going around here as well. And of course, I've got my infected tree area, all infected and they've all grown into trees, all five trees are here, and they're all white, you know, so we can get string from them. Now, the first thing I want to do in this episode involves going over to my little crafting station, and it involves, if I just try and remind myself, we've got a barrel, okay, we want to try and make these barrels, because apparently these barrels allow you to store a lot more stuff in them than you would normally get in a chest, so we need a slab, a chest, and a bunch of logs, okay, so let's get some slabs, already got slabs, we need to make some chests, so, uh, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and make... There we go, let's do that. We're going to make eight chests. We should be able to make eight barrels from this, right? So, boom, boom, and six. Okay, six barrels. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm okay with this. So, let's go ahead and find ourselves a place to put these things. So, let's just have a look. So, we got one, two, three, four, five. God damn it. Okay, what about over this side? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so if we make one more, then this is going to be pretty damn awesome. Now, with these, what you can do is you can go ahead and talk whatever the hell you want in them. At least I think you can anyway. Let's try to do that again. So how do I do it? Oh, look at that. There we go. Let's just put it in there. You know, we've got some uh, got some things in there. And if you shift and right click or something. Oh, that's just locked it. Oh, okay. You just punch it to get it out. Ah, that's awesome. I have learned something new, ladies and gentlemen. I am very, very happy with myself. <laughs> okay, so I can go in there. We've got some wood storage. Oh, this is so awesome. I love this. <laughs> oh, man. Right, okay. Uh, slabs, you know, they're going to be pretty useful. And for the rest of the stuff, you know, the seeds and the whatnots, I guess we're just going to put them in sort of regular chests. You know, I don't see any reason why not. So that's all good. But yeah, like I said, we're trying to we're going to try and get one more barrel over here. We may even make this into like two layers of it or something. I don't know. Depends on how much storage we're going to need. But at the moment, this is, uh, this is pretty satisfactory for what we've got going right now. So, I will actually be needing some of this out. Is there a way of getting just one? one out. That locks it. So if I do that and then I punch it. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I get it. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. So if I just put that back in there again. So that's like that. And if I shift and click it. Oh, if I shift and click it, I get one out. Ah, that's awesome. Nice. Python GB is learning mods today. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty damn awesome. I am, I am a fan of that. That is good. Right. Okay. So, uh, other things I want to do in this episode include uh, waiting for rain to come, because it still hasn't, which kind of sucks. Uh, I would also, perhaps, maybe, you know, I think making a mob spawner would be a good idea as well. Unfortunately, I can't make one of the uh, the old traditional Skyblock mob drop trap ones, because obviously I have no water to my name just yet. So, you know, that's going to kind of suck. So, what we're going to do instead is we are going to go ahead... And we are going to make a platform uh, 24 blocks over that way because obviously uh, mobs, well, hostile mobs can spawn 24 blocks or more away from you. So, yep, that's something to consider. So, let's just go and have a look right here. I want to make this work area into a fairly large one so we've got plenty of space to put all our things, maybe some machinery later down the line, something like that. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, boom. We'll have the pathway going out there and then we'll have to expand this. So, this is one. Uh, two, three, four, five, and then the border, so it's five more blocks outwards. Oh my lord, there's a lot of things. Right, okay, I think before we get on with that, I think we're going to need to mine down some more wood, right? So, uh, yeah, let me go and get on with that, my friends, and I'll just see you guys once I've got some more resources for you. Alrighty guys, I am back and as you can see we've got nearly a full stack of logs right now and of course we have nearly two stacks of string from the infected area as well. So we've got a nice amount of stuff going on and uh, one other thing I got was a couple more pieces of dirt. Or should I should I say two other things I got were two pieces of dirt. So yeah, let's just quickly go ahead and, go ahead and see how much cobble we get from this. Hopefully it's a nice amount. Maybe we can get... Yeah, there we go. I like that. Okay, so we now have four cobblestone pieces. And what we're going to do, once again, we're going to chuck them down and we are going to hammer the crap out of them. There we go. All right. Now, eventually, I would... I don't know, man. I really need it to rain in this world or snow or something just so we can get some water uh, begin to collect inside of these barrels because, again, I need to combine these with uh, something. Oh, should we just consort the book really quick? Should we just have a look really quick? So, credits. Uh, a note about biomes. Barrels full of water. 
just fine when it snows, so there's nothing wrong with snow spawning in a snow biome. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, right, what I'm looking for... Uh, once it rains, put dust into a barrel full of water to make clay. So we need dust. Yes, so I was right. Good stuff. Okay, let's carry on hammering this down until we get dust then. Okay. All is good. So this is going to give us sand. And then obviously if I hammer down the sand, we are going to get dust. Because everybody likes a bit of dust. Who wants a bit of dust? God, you guys have got to know where that comes from. You guys have got to know that reference. Especially if you're in Britain. you got to know that. I even gave you blooming half of the blooming title of it. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, guys, I think it is time. I think it is time to go ahead and uh, and start constructing this majorly massive bridge, which is going to be here. Oh, yeah. Right, now, I have a slightly different idea on how to do this, but actually, I don't. Hold up. All right, I've got an idea. If I just do this really quick, hold on. There we go, and we can do this down here. So, the reason why I'm doing this is so no mobs will spawn on the bridge. So, that, that's why I'm doing this. And of course, like I said, we need to go 24 blocks out. That's already one. So, let me just chuck them to there. So, these 23 blocks are needed to finish off the bridge. So, no worries there. Okay, it should be pretty simple. Hopefully, I don't die. If I die, then I will be a little bit salty. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, right, there we go. Sweet! Okay, and then obviously this is going to be the actual platform itself. In fact, why am I doing this? I need to put it on the uh, top half, don't I? So let's just grab this. I don't know why I'm hammering it. Do I get anything from hammering it? No, I don't. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so just get rid of that bit right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we can continue using these. Okay, I can go like so. And we can probably head back, grab some more slabs, and then just go from there, I guess. You watch, there's going to be one mob spawn on that one little block over there. I'm, I'm calling it right now. It's going to happen, isn't it? It is going to happen. It is going to happen, isn't it? There's going to be a mob over there. Go on. No? No mobs? Wow, I'm actually quite surprised, Minecraft. You didn't, you didn't spawn anything to try and kill me? Hmm? I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm surprised and very, very happy that you didn't spawn anything in to kill me. So, I thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to die yet. You have no idea. It's always when I build myself a blooming mob spawner. That's when the deaths occur. So, don't be surprised that my death count goes through the roof. Because, you know, you know that it just kind of happens, I guess. Right, okay. So, uh, we need to go back and grab some more wood, don't we? Hold on. I've got an idea. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say I'm paranoid or anything, but... Uh, uh, I'm paranoid about that. I'm not I'm not gonna allow them to spawn. Not just yet. I'm not ready. So let's just do this. Boom 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 boom. Grab some of this stuff. Let's take it down a half a stack. There we go. Good stuff. Right, okay, so boom, there we go. And let's go grab a, grab ourselves some more slabs. Okay, like so, there we go. Nearly two stacks of slabs. Awesome sauce. Right. Can we make a bridge here? I see no reason not to. Kind of looks cool as well. The only thing is, is I'm pretty sure that the uh, mob drops will be able to fall through that. So that's why I'm doing this. There we go. So, like I said, literally just doing a bridge right now. And the reason why I'm not using the uh, wood blocks is obviously, you know, these are two different sort of block spaces. So if I put it there, it would go lower than it would actually be. So, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. There we go. And I'm probably going to go put fences up at the sides as well, just to make it extra secure. Um, again, I'm not going to say I don't trust myself, but uh, I have I have troubles trusting myself doing things like this. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sweet. There we go. Let's start expanding this out again. No worries. Should I make a crafting bench over here? A crafting station, whatever you want to call them these days? I don't know. I don't know. There's so many things in this mob pack, it's ridiculous. Do, 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 do. There we go. So the mob spawner is starting to take shape. We do need to make a bunch of fences, and that is going to take a lot of wood. That's going to take a lot of wood up. So 24 times 2, of course, is 48. We need to make 48 fences. Holy moly. Should we just grab all of it out? There we go. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. What the? Hey! You blooming grow me while I'm trying to craft things, you disrespectful turd. Why you do this? Why you do this? No, 40 straight out. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if I make another stack. Okay, if I just do half a stack this time. Boom. 60. Okay, that's a nice amount. So I can go ahead. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, this is going to place above it, isn't it? Ah, so it is. So it is. The other thing is, I won't be able to strafe the skeletons if they come towards this place either. Hmm. 
Should I make it three blocks wide? That's going to take even more resources, isn't it? Three blocks wide with the barriers at the uh, with the barriers at the side, even. Hmm. Should we? Should we not? Should we? Should we not? I feel like I should. Alrighty, guys. Let me go ahead and make these altercations or alterations or whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> and I shall see you guys once this little bridge thing is done. Alrighty, guys. I am back, and as you can see, well, I just ate an apple to replenish my uh, my old hunger bar because that was getting a bit on the low side, unfortunately. But as you can see, I have the bridge finally finished. It is three blocks wide with a little barrier to the side of it. So just in case you know I, I do have a skeleton that decides to come onto the bridge, then you know I can strafe him and I can just go and kick his ass, and none of the drops should fall off the edge, which is always a good thing. Now. I would like to go ahead and I would like to make some more charcoal because I need some more torches because, of course, you know, light is always a good thing to have on your sky block or sky island or whatever the hell you want to call it. So let's just go ahead and put some, uh, I'm going to put 12 in there this time and that would mean we need 8 bits of wood, I think. Yeah, I think I got that right. Right, okay. So what should we do with this dirt? Should we try, should we try to make some sort of farm somewhere? Some sort of mini farm, or at least begin to try to get something going. I don't know. I think it might be a cool idea. Uh, and I'm thinking, maybe, I mean, obviously this side is going to be a symmetrical size to this side. So, one, two, three, four. So, you know, we've got the pathway and then four blocks. So, we need to go four, well, technically five blocks if you include the border. So, we need to do a bunch of stuff. So, let's start doing this, shall we? So, yeah, let's start going out and let's start getting this thing underway. This should not, shouldn't be too hard. So, here we go. So, one, two, three, four. And then that's the border. Okay, that should be easy enough to remember. There we go. And, well, actually, I don't know why I'm placing wood down right here. Obviously, dirt should go down there, shouldn't it? If this is going to be a farm, I need to put some dirt down. And, obviously, again, I need water as well. I mean, yes, you can go ahead and you can grow crops without water. But it will grow significantly slower. That's the only thing you have to consider. It will grow a heck of a lot slower. So, let me just... I'm going to try and come up with some sort of farm design. I'm thinking maybe I should make the farm go all the way down there. So we're going to have like a really, really large, extensive farm with all kinds of things. Because obviously, we've got loads of things. We've got carrots, wheat, potatoes, all kinds of things. And I don't know. I don't know. Should I make the farm span all the way over to that border over there? Or should I, like, do something else with the other space? I have no idea. I have no idea, honestly. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll leave that project for another day. I, I mean, we're supposed to be working on the old uh, mob, the mob spawner, aren't we? So let's start doing that, shall we? Do, 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 do. We are doing the mob farm like a boss. Right, okay, how's this done? Almost done. Sweet! Wow, look at the XP I have. I have one bar of XP down there. That's amazing. Hopefully this might bring us up to two or three bars. That'd be amazing. Boom. Oh, we good. Two bars. <laughs> Such an insignificant amount of XP, it's ridiculous. Right. There we go. We got some torches. Awesome sauce. Right. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I should probably place a torch down here, you know, just in case, again, they start spawning, which obviously we don't want them to do. Okay, so let's start moving our way over here. Now, what I normally do is I normally make a sheltered room, but the downside of doing that is the fact that skeletons keep shooting the creepers and the creepers will explode. Even if I'm not even there, they will still explode. If, if as soon as a skeleton shoots a creeper, boom, the entire structure is out of the game because obviously the creeper just blows it up. So I have to try and think of some sort of way of making this work out. Hmm. I could have it unsheltered, but that would mean that mobs would only spawn in the night time. But... Who says that's a bad thing? Do you know what I mean? I mean, it makes things a, a lot more controllable. Instead of having millions of mobs spawn all the time during the day and night in a sheltered area, maybe we should just have an unsheltered area and just have them spawn during the night time. So I could just go ahead uh, in night time and I could just go ahead and pwn everybody. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I think that might be a cool idea. Just leave it unsheltered. Right, okay. Oh, good. So let's start putting a border around once again. Uh, the question is, how large do I want to make this thing? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I, again, I don't want to give them too many spaces to spawn, because, again, we might wind up regretting it. Because, uh, you know, we're going to get loads of mobs spawning, and uh, they're going to kill me, which would really suck. And one of the mobs, well, one of the mods that is installed in this mod pack is the Gravestone mod. And uh, some of you guys, you may have seen in my live stream, I've been having some uh, issues with the... 
with the tombstone mod or the gravestone mod in the way that for some reason it sometimes doesn't spawn the blooming gravestones at all. So you actually lose all your stuff and you don't have a chance of getting it back. So I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to definitely keep that in mind. I should probably make a sword right now, actually. That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna make four swords. There we go. I wanna be prepared. There we go. All prepared. That makes me happy. I feel like I should put some things in a chest. <laughs> should I do that? Just in case they do spawn? I need to be quick, because otherwise they will actually spawn, like, right now. Oh, apparently I already have some chests. Oh, let me just go ahead and chuck this right here, shall we? There we go. I'm literally just gonna, just gonna chuck everything in here for now. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen! It is time! Are they filling up? Are they filling up? They are! Look at this! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this to happen for so long. We are going to get 13 instances of full barrels of water. That is fantastic. And of course, since I'm getting the blooming... Uh... Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> since I've got the dust blocks, we can of course make the clay and we can actually start getting on with making lava. That'd be awesome. Right, I'm going to take some apples. I can take a sword. Torches? Do we need torches? I feel like I should take some torches. We need the slabs, obviously. Right, I'm feeling like this should just about do it, though. So let me go ahead and let's place down the rest of these slabs. I'm going to get rid of these torches as well once I'm done. Oh, whoops. They weren't placed in the correct place. Dopey dope dope. Neither was that one. I know I'm not going to see it from the other side, but that's still going to make me go mad. Boom. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we should be good to go, right? Should be completely good to go. Okay. Let's walk away. Oh, man. I feel like I should put some... I feel like I should have put fences around it instead. Oh boy, this, this could go badly. Oh god. Right, I'm going to leave them to spawn. Hopefully they do spawn. Let me just see what difficulty this is on. Hard. Okay, good. Just how I like it. Wait, what the hell? Okay, it filled up through the leaves. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Oh, creepers! I see you. I see you over there, Mr. Mob. I see you. Oh, there's dudes over there already. Shall we have a look? Shall we see what this guy's got? It's my creeper brethren. The first of my creeper brethren is here! What the hell have you got? Some sort of redstone helmet? Oh my god. Okay, let's be careful. Oh boy. And he's out the game. There we go. A redstoner's hat. <laughs> Man, I love the hats mod. It's just one of those little fun mods that allows you to put some random ass hats on. So let's just do that. You press the H key, by the way, to access the little, the little hats thing. And obviously you just... Choose your hat. I'm pretty sure you can change the color of it as well. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yay, it's blue! <laughs> That's so cool. What if I make it entirely red? Oh, that looks so amazing. It matches my skin. Look, it's all red. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I like that. That's brilliant. Right, okay, now, what we need to do next is we need to grab our dust blocks and we can start putting them in here. Clay, 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 boom, 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 boom. We have six bits of clay. That is amazing. So let's just do this. We're going to grab the little clay egg things like so. And then what we need to do is we need to kill some skeletons. We need to get some bone meal and then we can make some porcelain clay. And then we can turn it into a crucible. And that will allow us to smelt down cobblestone into lava. And then eventually when we get a bucket, we can use the lava to eventually get ourselves a cobblestone generator. And that would be absolutely awesome. But there doesn't appear to be any... There's no one spawning over there. I can see a spider, but that's about it. Hmm... Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Look at all these infected leaves. Yes, an apocatry is amongst that as well. So we are going to get a ridiculous amount of string from this. It is going to be a truly ridiculous amount of stuff. Hello. So here's what I want. That. Oh, God. Okay, the skeleton's coming over. Okay, good stuff. I really should have put a gate here. That's what I was trying to remember. Okay. Ow! Bloody hell, he can shoot from far. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Take him out of the game. It's a Viking helmet! Oh, it looks like he's come from Skyrim. Did you come from Skyrim, buddy? What's this? A miniature red heart? What the hell does this do? Part of low-level heart canisters can be eaten to restore 10 hearts. Holy moly. Oh, man. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to end the episode right there because in the next episode, we've got a lot of things to do, my friends. I've got a lot of things on my mind. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with the series, by the way. And, uh... 
you know, I'm, I'm really glad I started because I like this. I like this mod pack a lot and I hopefully you guys like it as well. Of course, the links to the mod pack and the texture pack, of course, using the faithful one are in the description. But that will wrap it up for that episode right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, it is time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.